Listen, all of us here, we just want you to know we really appreciate what you're doing. Just my job. Right, well, that's just it. It is just a job. And although we want you to succeed, we don't want you to do so at the expense of your safety. I said I'm okay. You sure? You don't sound okay. I mean, you sound... You sound like a completely different person. Because I am a different person. I have to be. It's just like another planet down here. These aren't people. It's pieces of garbage. And so am I. That's how it has to be. So why no face-to-face -face meeting with Fisk? Well, Christine didn't tell you? No. You talked to Chris? No, we didn't speak, but she uh, she called last night, I guess, to, to check in, and Fisk's number two picked up the phone, and I mean, we could have had a huge problem, but I handled it. Okay, good. I, I, honestly, I had no idea that, that Chris called you. You know, I just wish we had a projected out time for this thing. I'm meeting with Fisk later. I should have all the evidence to take him down. Pretty sure tonight will be my last. Be safe and come home soon, okay? Yeah. Hey, real quick. How's Sharon doing? Um, she's fine. I've, I've been in touch with her. She's she's doing fine. When you see her, just um, tell her I love her, okay? Of course. But please, don't worry. Sharon really wants you home. She loves you and trusts you. She what? She loves you and trusts you. She wants you home as soon as possible. She wants you on the next plane. Gotcha. Listen, I'm gonna tell you again. You always have the option. If this doesn't go down the way you expect it to, you can always bail. You understand? This has to go down. The way it's supposed to or all this is for nothing. Take care of yourself. And please, Contact me as soon as you can. We'll talk soon. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. He said that Chris called him last night. She didn't mention it.